collection of some of South East Queensland's master craftsmen, from furniture makers to a creator of heirlooms. Plus, we're learning how on the show, Jess relives a childhood memory and takes her master craftsman along for the ride. The things we make people do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you've been a good sport. <laughs> riding the carousel when I was a kid. Like most little girls, I was horse mad and just wished I could have one of these pretty ponies for myself. But of course, that could never happen. Oh, wow, Wayne. Oh, can it? You were like the fairy godfather of all things carousels and rocking horses. Yeah, the grandkids love them, my nieces and nephews love them. Uh, you would have to be the most popular grandfather and uncle in Australia, I reckon. This one <laughs> is just beautiful. Wayne Holmes is a retired builder who now spends his days lovingly carving these childhood favourites. I believe this one holds a special place in your heart. Yes, that's the first one I ever made. Um, I had a book for many years on how to make rocking horses and one day I had the time so I got to and made it out of some scrap timber I had and, and that's a result of it. It's just developed over the years. I, I'm, I started a website and, you know, one thing's led to another and I've progressed from making rocking horses and now I make the, the fancy carousel horses that are um, a lot more work, a lot more challenging and I really enjoy doing them because of it. It uses a lot of different skills. Seriously, Wayne, where were you when I was 10? I wanted one of these so badly. Who buys these from you? People buy them as art pieces. Uh, these ones, the carousel horses in particular, are, are, are sold from galleries and, and off my website. Um, and th they make a, a beautiful a, a addition to a, a modern home. The, the rocking horses are sold, sold to families generally. And uh, I get lots of mothers uh, who are buying them ostensibly for their children. But uh, when I deliver them, say, can we ride them too? <laughs> they're using their kids as an excuse. That's yes, right. Yeah. I think they're. I'm picking up what you're putting They're living down, their mate. past like you. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I have to ask you: when no one's around, do you sit on the rocking horses and have a little, little ride? Uh, my daughter's been known to, but uh, oh, at 40. Oh, come on, Wayne. <laughs> um, I, I do get on them at times, yes, uh, but uh, I'm getting a bit long in the tooth now. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon the pun. Yeah. <laughs> An excited child can never fully appreciate the intricate details and hard work that goes into making a beautiful rocking horse. But as an adult, it's a different story. They really are pieces of artwork. The craftsmanship that goes into these is just superb, Wayne. It's taken me for, well, about 18 years now to, to get to this point. How long does it take to make them? Well, they vary. The, the little wee ones can vary from sort of 75 to 100 hours, depending on how intricate of the carving. The big ones, they'll go up to 250 hours. Flick through most family photo albums and a child propped on a rocking horse is likely to feature. I haven't changed much, huh? And most of us probably still have our treasured trusty steeds. Children get a horse and they seem to keep it and give it to their children. Um, they, they become real heirlooms in families and they, they're passed down from generation to generation. If you want to invest in a beautiful rocking horse or carousel, you can get in touch with Wayne through his website. Well, I'm saying exactly what I think and uh, can I take this one home? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I could brush its mane for hours.